Good morning, Rachel with Back to Good. And today I started out my day by breaking the nose pad off of my regular glasses. So today I'll be wearing my sunglasses, but it's a good day. So it's a nice sunny day, so perfect. I've got my sunglasses on. But we're gonna start out the day with unloading the Gorilla Cart because it is filled with all kinds of goodies. And we're gonna get to these over the next few days. So let's get these unloaded because I need the Gorilla Cart to go clear some other stuff out of the way and I have another project we're going to work on today. The kids are in taking measurements of all of our windows and we're going to get some one of these boxes is going to go in those windows so we're going to go pick it up and bring it over here but we need to empty this cart first so you know let's get to work. Alrighty, I got the card unloaded. Let's go pick up the other box that we're gonna be working with today so we can open it up. So I'll be right back. All right, so I got the Gorilla card emptied and now I need to go pick up my other big box that we're gonna be working on with this project. So I'm also gonna to need to get some of the scrap wood out of the way so I can pull the Gorilla card in here. So we're gonna move some of the stuff around a little bit and then I'm gonna go pick up the other box and we're gonna bring it on over here and open it up so we can do this project next. So stay tuned. So the kids got the measurements for me of all the windows in the camper. So we are going to pull out some of this foil and we're going to start covering windows with it. Um, maybe not all day long, just at night when it's like super cold. These little foil inserts. It's a double bubble, double foiled insulation. So it should work pretty decent for helping keep the cold drafts out and uh, we'll be using this for another project in the future but for now we're going to use it for this and we're going to kind of work with this pallets that are here so that I can have something to cut on oh, but I might need to I think the wood runs this way yeah it does so maybe I need one of these little pallets here to put down here. It's gonna work. And then I can set this down here. And that'll work much better for cutting it along the grain of the pallet there. There we go. Got our tape measure and our marker. And I got my straight edge to cut it with under here. And the first one we have is going to be a kitchen window at 47 and a half by 28 and a half. So let's get that measured out. I know this is 48, so it'll basically be 
snap by 28 and a half. So we're just going to measure 28 and a half down. off a half inch but I think we're just going to leave it on for now and see if it helps squeeze it in or if it makes it feel like it's too big. I want them to fit snug but I don't want them to fit so snug that they pop it out of the window. So let's see. easy enough. Now, that's to fit our kitchen window. So before we go any further, I'm going to go check and see how that looks, if we need to cut that extra half inch off the sides or not. So I'll be right back. Let me just cut that on my way. Okay guys, so this one fits perfect in the kitchen and what we're going to do is instead of like trying to press it in the windows and get them to stay, because it won't, the cat will end up ripping them all off, but what we're going to do is we're just going to put some Velcro on one side and it'll have a little Velcro strip on the wall so we can just easily put them on and take them down when we don't want them on there because we don't want to keep them on there all the time. Um, during the day we're going to want to take them off and open the windows up or um, just be able to see outside anyways not maybe open the windows up but we want to see outside so we're just gonna get them all measured out here and um, then we'll have them ready so when it gets really cold out we'll be able to put these in the windows real easily and they'll be ready to go so I've, uh, we're gonna order a strip of velcro roll and then we'll put all that on another day. But let's get these windows cut out for now and get these sheets ready.
Okay, guys. I've got all the um, double bubble foil insulation. It's got two layers of bubbles. Both sides are foil. And this is what we're going to put in our windows on the inside when it gets cold. I'm going to get some uh, Velcro strips put on there. They'll be easy to take on and off when we want them on. So at night when it gets really cold until morning when the sun comes up, we can slap them on the windows in the morning. We can take them off if we want. I also labeled them on the backs. I wrote which windows they go in. So that way when we take them down, it's real easy to see which ones go where. So yeah, that's, that's about the extent of it. I was going to trim off all the corners. They're rounded. But it's really hard to do that. And then the knobs are in the way. For, the, for you to push it in. So I just thought it would be easier to put some Velcro straps on or Velcro in the corners and then just tack it on the wall. You wanna take them down? We can just easily take them down. So that's it for today um, on this part anyways because I need to order the Velcro strap roll. So, but the windows are cut and ready to go. So if we wanted, we could just tack them up with some scotch tape or something for now just to get them up there but it hasn't been that cold honestly since we hooked up our diesel heater it's uh it keeps us quite warm so but I got them ready to go so let's go see what else I can get into okay guys one of the other chores that I wanted to do today is I've got a bunch of big rocks kind of in the road so I'm going to rake some of those out so it's not such a rough ride coming down the road and it should just take a few minutes but I want to get it done here before the day's out and then we'll get working on edit editing the video, so follow along.
Okay guys, sunset's going down here, so I'm dripping sweat and it's time to take a break and continue on this mission tomorrow. But I got one more thing I'm going to show you real quick when I get back to the house, so I'm going to put you on pause and we'll be right back. I just have one more thing to say. Judy Jules and the Big Italian, they've been studying really hard on how to get all these pretty eggs from Bobblehead, or Jeff at Bobblehead Homestead. And I'd say they're doing really good. Check this out. We got speckled ones. We got some blue ones. Really pretty. Yellow and green and peach. Like all kinds of colors here. Absolutely beautiful eggs. We got green. I've never seen such pretty eggs. Whatever she's doing over there, she's doing it right. And she knows how to make cowboy candy too. So go check out Judy Jewels and the Big Italian. I'll put their link in the description. Super cool couple. Very nice. They joined us in our cookout. And she brought us all these amazing goodies. So go check them out. Thank you, Judy and Big Tony. We appreciate you. Have a great night, everyone.